And topic speech from Mr. Harrison Lee. The topic of beautiful Taiwan. Welcome, Harrison Lee. Please give them him a big hand. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, all of you from afar, and also welcome the guests from the local. Who is he? Confucius. Is that he is very confusing? Yes. I tell you what. Yes. Director of the Tourism Bureau and also the chairman of the ATM Eric, they set the tone about some Taiwan. I'm going to share with you some Taiwan, perhaps from the different angles. Let me simply quote: 2,500 years ago, Confucius said, "It is our great pleasure to welcome the guests." From afar, so we shall extend our warmest welcome to you all. Here you say a round of applause. <laughs> Confucius is a teacher of a generation. To a certain degree, he's like a tour manager. He travel, and he teach, he inspire, he entertain, he inform, he persuade. Now, a brief account of the history of Taiwan. The first flag. Holland colonized Taiwan. They came in 1624. Second flag, Spain. Two years after they came, they colonized the northern part of Taiwan. The picture, Kaxingang from Ming Dynasty. Then Kangxi Emperor from Qing Dynasty. Japan, 1895 till 1945. Due to the Manchu ruler had a war with the Japanese, and they unfortunately they lost the battle. So that's a treaty called Shimonosaki was was signed up, and Taiwan uh, uh, was unfortunately sent to Japan for 50 years, from 1895 to 1945. Do you speak Japanese? Nihongo wa karu. Now. The one that's called the Taiwan the national flag, Sam, 1949. At that time, just imagine what is the largest nation in the world. I need you use your imagination. So travel with me. See, 1949, Chiang Kai-shek came because he lost a battle. At that time, we got six million people lived on this island. Two million. Came with the Chiang Kai-shek. At that time, per capita income is only 50 U.S. dollar. Last year, we have a 23,000 U.S. dollar, and the population 8 million. Last year, 23 million. Isn't that incredible? Don't you think that Taiwan is very productive <laughs> in these two respects? Now, a little bit of location for you. Taiwan is located on the West Asia Pacific Ring of the Fire, because tectonic movements, 地壳变动 has created the peaks, running hills or rolling hills and plains, basins, and coastline, and the natural wonders. What does the shape look like? Tobacco leaf, or a sweet potato, or you look the profile. Don't you think it looks like a woman? She's pregnant. <laughs> the pregnant face to the west side, which is the Taiwan Strait, the China. Beijing is about two thousand and two hundred kilometers from Taiwan. Two hundred kilometers, which is the shortest we can reach to China. And then the northeast. I know IATM and the post tour going to the. Korea, 1,500 kilometers, two and a half hours by air.、Uh, that's called the Northeast Asia. It's called. If you touch your head above, it's called East China Sea. Down below, Bass Channel. On the east side is the Pacific Ocean. We have a guess from Hulan around 10,000 kilometers. Let's just give you a little bit further information about the direction. Taipei, touch your head. Don't you think you look like Taipei? You are in the northern part of Taipei. Not only the provisional capital of the Republic of China, but also 
a transportation hub. I'm very proud of being a citizen of the Taipei. Now, this is a Taipei 101, 508 meters. They have the fattest elevator installed. They will travel around 60 hours per uh, 60 kilometers per hour. And they also they have fattest elevator, 37 seconds from the first floor to the 89th floor. Also, they have the damper. They were balanced. We have two disasters here. One is an earthquake. You have already experienced, right? A few days ago, because I call that give you the first free gift. Also, we have the typhoon during the summer season. The damper is a 660 tons, 4 million US dollars. It's around six floor tall. And then it is the first one that you can actually see and you can touch or invisible. Taipei 101, 101 story. The, the tallest building in the world is called the Dubai Bajur Tower. Dubai, do nothing but just buy. Same thing. <laughs> Next one, the Taipei sizing spot. Grand Hotel. Yeah. You know the Grand Hotel better, right? You know the treatment now? That's called for that VIP treatment. Very important person, but we add S-V-I-P-I, -I, meaning super very important person indeed. Give your out a round of applause. Just give you the few famous persons who stay here before. General Eisenhower, Margaret Thatcher, and some leaders from the South and Northeast Asia. And also I add a few more men list. The chairman of a different region from the IAT men. IAT men in the future. <laughs> Grand Hotel is a very popular joke. I hope you don't mind. We call it, it's very religious hotel. You know why? From the outlook, don't you think it looks like temple? By the, the time we step into the hotel, you will say, oh my God, so gorgeous, awesome beauty. By the time when you pay the bill, you will say, Jesus Christ, it's expensive. <laughs> this is a top 10 hotel. It was selected by the Fortune magazine one time. You should not deny yourself visit this museum. It has around 700,000 masterpieces of the treasures that spend the nation for more than 8,000 years history. 700,000, just simply a number. But you just simply say, if it takes one second to see a one piece, it takes around 700,000 minutes. It takes, I calculate, I am half days without even blinking your eyes. I will make mention only one on the right was selected by, again, the Fortune magazine on the cover page. Cabbage with the two grass hopper is a dowry gift to the emperor by the two charming lady. Anybody want to get married? Buy one piece. Green and white meaning, try the Chinese, Qing Bai. Say, repeat after me, Qing Bai. Qing Bai. Virgin. <laughs> also, you see, the grasshopper or candidate, they mean fertility. That means he, she's a virgin and she wants to produce a lot of offspring for the Chinese emperor. So he sent this doctor gift to give the emperor a hint. Temple. Religion is free and we have, I checked the record, we have more than 11,500 temples here in Taiwan. Isn't that something else? Buddhism is a dominant religion to be followed by Taoism. Christianity, around 5%, and the other also Catholic. I checked, we have more than 100 different religions. You can see the different ways of life. It's called the Longsan Temple. That's the beginning of the Taipei back in 1709. So we have 300 some years. This is on the east side of Taiwan. It's sort of like your hand on the left, the East Pacific Ocean. It's called the Taroga Gorge. It's one of the most natural wonders in Asia. The construction began in 1956 till 1960. We hired a lot of retired soldiers 
They used a very simple chisel, set a dynamite, and also at the expense of their life. 226 people died during the construction. That's the eternal spring shine to remember all these soldiers. Don't you think it looks like a Chinese painting? We inside them in a very good location called Feng Shui. So their whole family, their generation will be blessed. Samon Lake, by the name, is very, very poetic, very romantic. Romantic because it is good for the honeymooners. If you want to have a baby, go to Samon Lake. Aisha. About to find the right person to go. <laughs> Salmon Lake, beautiful. There are two lakes, Sam and Moon. It's situated a uh, situation around 748 meters above the sea level. So usually people come there for honeymoon or for meditation or for exercise. They have a bicycle route according to the CNN, is a top 10 in the world. If you got a tie, Option to tour. Down to the south, Ali Mountain. A tree, nothing else, right? Nothing special. Information, 2,300 years old. Wow. 45 meters in high, around 15 story. Circumference waist, 12.3 meters. Isn't that a great choice? If you suffer from the pressure, go up there and you can shout aloud. I am relieved. Repeat after me. I'm relieved from my job. I'm relieved from my job. Great. Inhale the oxygen. Fresh oxygen escaped from the air pollution in the city. Aborigines, we got a 16 different tribes. Around two point, a little bit more than two percent, around half a million population, 16 tribes. You can go to different cities, you'll see them. They're in the Summer Lake, Kaohsiung, Taidong, Hualien, and Taipei, northern part of Taipei, Ulai. Aborigines. The man is as strong as the mountain, the lady as pretty as the water. Now, let me dedicate a song for you. Listen carefully. Na lu wando, na yi yo, ho hai yo. A li san di gu niang mei ru sui ya, a li san di sao nian zhuang ru sha. Period. <laughs> Ego tourism. In terms of the density, we got a nine national park. Imagine. Taiwan is our only. 36,000 square mile kilometers. Belgium, if the Taiwan is a one, Belgium is a 0 0.8, a little bit smaller than Taiwan. Population, Taiwan is 23 million. Belgium is half of the Taiwan, 50%. But Taiwan is the second densely populated country in the world. The Bang Bangladesh is number one. In Europe, Belgium is number two. Holland is number one. See the comparison. This is a national park. J Mountain, 3,952 meters. Imagine, we have a guest from Switzerland, but we have 3,000 meters above the sea level. There are approximately 268. Two thirds of the island are covered by the mountain hill. Isn't that beautiful mountain? Yes. National park. Ecotourism. Butterfly. Again, the figures. We got a 420 different species, butterflies. Japan, 320. And yet, the size of Japan is about 10 times bigger than Taiwan. Just to give you a little idea. Butterfly, beautiful, right? Good for you, good tourism. <laughs> Taiwan is very safe. According to the US FBI report, Taiwan is the second safe. most secure nation in the world. And also according to the expatriates by the survey, international survey, ranked number one twice in the row, Taiwan, for the foreigners, for settle down because of the infrastructure and also the safety 
and also friendly people will be considered very uh, friendly place or environment to stay. 7-Eleven, 24-hour service. If you find it, you can hardly sleep, this is the place I'll wait for you. Typhoon, earthquake, they're still open. That's the spirit of the Taiwanese. Body massage to your long journey. Go for the foot massage, your body massage. They will relieve your pension. And you feel so comfortable. And also, I unwind you during a long journey. In fact, if you suffer from the insomnia, you can hardly sleep, go for the foot or the body massage. You will have an incredible Taiwanese experience. Up the hot spring, uh, up to foot massage. Go for the hot spring. Winter time, it's cold, right? Are you freezing? Not really compared to the European winter time. But this is time for you to soak in a hot spring. This hot spring will help you if you have bare, rough skin. It will help you. When you come out, wow, you totally change into another person. You become rejuvenized. You become young again. Not only the hot spring, we also have the cold spring in the summertime. Then you have to come back again. What's that? NTU, the best university in Taiwan. I'm going to talk about a little bit about education. NTU stands for National Taiwan University. It's also known as nobody teaches you. Because they are so outstanding. They don't need the teachers. We have 167 universities throughout the island. Amazing. If you walk on the street, later on you bump somebody, you will ask them how many master's degrees you have. He said, only collect two master's degrees. PhD degree, I'm still working on. Toastmaster International. Why I dare to challenge this and share something information about Taiwan for you because I joined the Toastmaster 30 years ago. And then, this is a non-profit organization dedicated to the men and the women who are in the art of the public speaking, help you to polish your speaking skill and also develop your leadership skills. There's one club called the Skull Club, a formed by the travel agency, CEO and so on. Skull sponsored it. So the tour guide, tour leads, the travel agent, you can join free of charge. Isn't that wonderful? Live learning process. That's the attitude of the tour manager. Passport. Have you seen the Taiwanese passport? For your information, even though we're not a member of the United Nations, and yet we can travel 167 countries without either free visa or apply for lending visa or electronic visa. 167 countries. For your information, you have the passport holder. Don't lose it. Black market costs around 1. It's about 1.1 thousand US dollar. Very expensive. Don't lose it. Wow. According a celebrity, a very famous writer, called Mr. Han. She lost a cell phone, smartphone, actually, in the taxi. Because next day, he, he's going back to the China. He's from Shanghai, a famous writer. He lost that. So he went to the police station. He was in a hurry. He was so nervous. By the time he reached the station, you know what? Smartphone, money is all there already. Then when he returned, he said, the most beautiful scenery in Taiwan is People, I pick up one for your information. She's pretty. She's 175 centimeter, single, 40 some years old, professional model, hostess, MC. She's on the Vogue page. She earned a double major, finance and art from Clorindo University in Canada. She's not only pretty, but also smart. She is single. Are you available? Chase her. She can't be too old. Nobody will need her. Next one. The next one, the, the person that I really wanted, there's a true nature of the Taiwanese spirit called the inner nature. Little information for you. 
she started working at the age of 13. She came from a very poor family. She actually, she was disabled. She worked around 15 hours a day. She sleep only no more than four hours a day. She spent about one US dollar for her daily necessity. After 53 years work, she saved around 350,000 US dollar. She donated them all. Can you believe? She is a vegetable seller, street vendor. She is the true spirit of the Taiwanese. I think she is so generous. What is the generous nation in the world? Donation. She donated a lot of money. I think she's so generous. So she's on the Time Magazine. According to the Time Magazine, they, they choose her. They call the top 100 most influential people in the world. He, she beat the Bill Clinton. Of course, Donald Trump is right behind her. Taiwan World Vision. If you are the volunteer, shout out loud. We're the volunteer from Tour Manager. Tour Manager, if you are the volunteer, shout out loud. Very good. See? We have lots of volunteers. We have 1.1 million volunteers. They don't get paid. So they will go to the Africa, help them, help their family, donate the money, donate their expertise. We have a doctor, engineer, and so on. I can mount my mound. That's called a Taiwan World Vision. Anonymous hero of Taiwan. Let's give him a round of applause. Paizo, what's that? Full democracy. Imagine, we have more than 115 political parties. So they fight all the time. <laughs> Normally, we do not talk the policy in public. You are very special. Tour managers you know something, right? So this is a full democracy. You have to learn two words in Taiwanese. Dong suan. Dong suan. Meaning, whoever you support, you want it, get elected. You say, Dong suan, one more time. Dong suan. When you go home, you'll remember that. <laughs> High technology, TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation, IC Foundry. He had a market share 59, plus the analysis three company from Taiwan. Altogether, 85 market share of the IC Foundry in the world. Isn't that amazing? Foxconn. Have you ever heard of Foxconn? Terry, he invests 10 billion US dollars in Wisconsin in the United States. He is specializing in 3C, communication, computer, consumer electronic items. He's amazing. By the way, he got a baby a few months ago. He's a 70 something now. <laughs> See, now he's to be an entrepreneur. Medical emergency, can you see? Emergency, because Taiwan is the first successful case in terms of transportation of artificial heart. The first one, successful rate is 95%. Medical, we are all under the medical care. We have excellent medical care, but don't get sick here, though, <coughs> even though we have excellent medical care. URS stands for Urban Regeneration Stations, meaning they will add a cultural and creativity, cre creativity to the store. The store about two or three hundred years old. We re re renew all these buildings and add something new. Just give you an example. If you want to have the fruit, they will tell you where did they grow this fruit. It's a non-toxic. Who grow that fruit? And, and they won the championship. So add that. So they will have a story when they sell the item, which means they will double or ten times full for that item. They call it add a creativity and the culture to, well, something you should miss. Oh, yummy, delicious watering. Dumpling, steam dumpling. We, there's a saying, evil is always in all the detail. So this one, 18 folks, they also weigh the certain ounce. Steam dumpling, mamma mia. When you try, watch out. It will burn your tongue if you try to take a go. 
Bivu, bivu no, noodle. Why you shouldn't miss the bivu noodle? Are you hungry now? I'll make you even more hungry <laughs> in Taiwan market. market. Taiwan actually have a different types of cuisine. We have the Japanese, Korean, European cuisine, Italian, French, German, Australia, Belgium, and so on. Nordic cuisine. We have, you can name all of them, not, not to mention about the regional Chinese cuisine, Taiwanese, local tea. We have a saying, let's in Calvary, Taiwan is so good with the food. They're saying, we eat everything flying in the sky except the airplane. We eat everything on the ground with the four legs except the table and chair. We eat everything under the water, including the submarine. <laughs> now, show you some example. Stingy dough. Oh, you need to pinch your nose. But tastes so good. We call it acquired taste. It takes a little while for you to get used to. Looks like a cheese. Oyster, omelet oyster. Isn't that gorgeous? Will make your mouth watering. Let me quote the Hawaiian language. They say, it really broke the mouth. It's very ono, meaning it's very delicious. Without a word. This is called deep fried chicken bread, as big as the size of the face. Look at that. Oh, amazing. After all these oil food, pearl milk tea. We have papaya, we have mango juice, and so on, uh, different type of juices. And then, fruit, the kingdom of the fruit. We have four seeds in the fruit. Banana, pineapple, grapes, name, you name it. We have a different types of watermelon. We have the yellow meat, and also the red meat, and so on. And also, we can squeeze them and they all become a different type of juice. Excellent. Be sure to try. What's that? Kala OK. Our entertainment. That's the reason why I'm going to sing another song for you. Taiwanese song. Listen carefully. Wen po wen da ke lai so hui Shu jiu ling ji bui ho da la this means whether we have an opportunity to meet each other, when we get together, we need to drink. Having a meal without the wife is like getting a married without the bride or the groom. <laughs> you must drink. We call gum bay, bottom up. Empty your glasses. So we learn how to sing and then we drink. They all become wild. Super Mia. The next section, according to the agenda, is called a workshop, right? You work. Or oh, I work, my wife shop. So shopping is a necessary evil. When you come to visit Taiwan, you want to go home with the good and fond memories. Buy some of the items. Spend all your money and boost our economy. <laughs> now, transportation. HSR, high-speed railway. On highway, around 400, five hours. High-speed railway. One and a half hours, 300 meters. We have a different transportation. Shuttle bus, MRT. MRT called mass rapid transit. And also we have motors. Uh, MRT is like a metro. Over underground YouTube in England. Taxi. 40,000 taxis are waiting for you. But remember, give them the Chinese address. 99% of the drivers do not speak English. Otherwise, you will have a free city tour with no explanation. <laughs> Look, scooter, mopeds, we call motorcycle or murder cycle. Watch out. 13.5 million motorcycles out of 23 million people. In closing, let me quote the marketing say, when you travel, you extend your horizon, but you need to learn how to adjust yourself and narrow down the prejudice against the culture. I hope you will enjoy your stay here in Taiwan. Now, repeat after me. I love Taiwan. I love Taiwan. I will promote Taiwan. I will promote Taiwan. But no commission.
Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Harrison Lee. Thank you. The keynote speech is beautiful Taiwan. I love my country. I love Taiwan. And welcome to Taiwan. Welcome. Okay.